Welcome back to AV Veterans Talk. We're continuing our conversation with this week's guest, Christine Yannick. So, uh, you know, we're, we're always grateful whenever you show up at anything that I do, you know, or uh, to be a part of this, you know, and stuff. I, this will be a real powerful segment to get out uh, and share with uh, with with uh, people. And uh, anytime I ever get an opportunity to introduce you to, to, to new people, and stuff like you know, you're the best of America, you know, and stuff. You're one of many and stuff, you know, but you're very special because of your service to country and the things you do. And, uh, you know, it's this last year, you know, my, my wife and my daughter, you know, we were excited to go down and you were part of uh, the production of uh, the Adams family. And from the beginning when the curtains opened and I looked up and I saw you and dressed as, uh, what was her name? Uh, Morticia. Morticia. <laughs> there you were dressed as Morticia. And I'm going like, gosh, I know her so well, you know. And you just nailed that part so well. Oh, and, you. And, and, you know, and uh, once again, the whole dancing thing. And, and you know, you can tell you're a, you're a, you're a, you're a professional at what you do. And uh, I know that... Uh, you know, no matter where you go, whether I know you've been in Guys and Dolls, uh, you've probably been in how many productions? Uh, oh man! You know, I I haven't been in that many actually. Really? Yeah. Compared to to some of the folks that um, I find myself on stage with, yeah. who've, who've been doing the the drama thing since they were in high school, and yeah. who've literally been hundreds and hundreds of productions. Yeah. So this the. Uh, the the dancing thing is old hat for me, but yeah. the, the acting and the singing thing is actually fairly new. Yeah, so. well, you sure pulled it off good, and <laughs> you, we, we, we laughed. That was a great, and uh, your your supporting cast in that was amazing. Oh, the cast was incredible. Yeah. Uh, uh, never mind the level of talent that e- each one of them brought individually to the roles, and, and the fact that they were e- every one of them was perfect for yeah. the role that they were cast in. Yeah. Um, but they're they're amazing people off the stage, and and they you know we supported each other, and and it was one of the most uh, fun productions that I've ever been involved in, just oh, because yeah. of the fact that the, that that the cast was was amazing. Yeah, and a lot of those they were kind of local people, or all of them were local. Local people, yeah, because uh, and you introduced us to uh, the, the one young man that played. Uh, Oh my gosh! I, I don't Pugsley. Pugsley <laughs> played Pugsley, and uh, he actually sang at our veterans because his dad his was a marine. Father was marine, and it's he a felt it was he wanted to honor his father, and so he sang the national anthem at our, and it was a great thing. And so, and you meet these people in your, you know, as you're doing these programs like this, this is great, you mm-hmm. know. And uh, we we looking forward to. I, I hope you choose more roles like that because <laughs> I'm willing to travel to go see this, you know, and stuff. I don't know if I'm going to go to Buffalo, New York and stuff, you know, but uh, hopefully some of those programs can make their way to the the West Coast sometime, I uh, hope. They, they have had yeah. the National uh, Veterans Arts Festival was here about a, a decade or so ago, I think. Mm, well, it was in, ago, yeah, I think it, I think it was in San Bernardino County. That was yeah. before I was involved in it. But. Yeah, I'd like to see that make its way uh, out here and stuff for those of us on the west coast and stuff be able to partake in something like that i think they i think they try to do every other year um you know to to kind of do a mix of north and south and yeah. east and west so yeah. it it should be somewhere in the west n- next year Good deal so <laughs> well anyway uh once again uh continued success on all that and, and on your you. travels and you know uh five gold medals you know you're you know and stuff gosh you know you think i think of mark spitz winning five gold medals in the olympics and no it's, it's, it's nowhere near that it's not weird <laughs> it's not like, oh, that's pretty good i don't know yeah, you, yeah to me that's pretty impressive but uh you know you live up in tehachapi up there correct and uh i know your husband works out at uh, edwards air force base there great guy and uh uh you support the local uh, events and stuff people ask you you come out you're you're, you're a real trooper and a real blessing to our community. Oh, my God, I can't even say enough how no, how glad you. we were have, to have you around. And uh, and like I said, I hope, uh, you know, once again, I, I, I want to I see you do your craft again sometime. And I hope to be able to laugh because when you when you have something like the SFAM stuff in such a stressful world, to be able to go sit down there and just enjoy the laugh, you know, and stuff and, and be disconnected in the, the gift of actresses and actors to stuff to take us out of this world of stress and things like that and take us to a to another place and stuff to say like you know what i can walk out of there and stuff you know and i had a moment when i 
when I was able to laugh and you know or be entertained. Well, we actually we actually started you know doing little impromptu bedside performances for our patients. That's what cool. literally got me on on the track of of you know remembering those times and and the way that Excellent. the the laughter and the music and, yeah. and those kinds of things were as, as strong as, as the medications yeah. that we were giving you know yeah. our patients because it just makes you forget. You get lost in the moment. Yeah, uh, laughter is the best medicine. Absolutely. You know, and uh, I still remember the line out of the out of, out of the Adams family there that just had me rolling and stuff is when the grandmother and stuff and all of a sudden it came up the fact we don't even know if she's even related. To oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that whole one just caught us all off guard. And it seemed like just that moment everybody just busted up, you know, stuff. Because I don't even know if she's even related to us. <laughs> After all the revelations, you know, that were going on. So anyway, the, the magic and, and, the, and just the, the craft of, of putting together such a great program. So, well, we thank you for coming in. Thank you And being a part me. of this. And uh, you've been a, a real a great interview. And uh, uh, we'll look forward to seeing you out there and sharing you with the, the uh the, the communities and stuff like that. So I, I hope to be in more production. Yeah, absolutely. So we're looking forward to that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we, we demand it, okay? <laughs> so anyway, that's it for uh, for us this time and stuff, and we'll, we'll be back. And I'm Bob Alvis, and thanks for joining us for this segment of AV Veterans Talk.